We're being surrounded by angry apes. Hi everybody, Mark, Sasquatch Habitat Investigation Team. Coming to you from a place where we have found footprints in the past uh, and less than five miles away from where we had our, our first sighting that we got on thermal. If you haven't seen that video, uh, it's on YouTube, go check it out. Um, saw this, thought maybe it would be interesting enough to come and, and take a look at, but I think it's all natural after we started looking at it. Um, there are some down stuff around here. We're right on the edge of a lake. Uh, and we're actually very close to a highway, but to get into this area is very difficult. Um, I don't know if you can see down here, but there's all these uh, trailing blackberries everywhere, and they are covered with thorns, and they like to grab you. And um, so it's difficult to get through. Uh, it took us a few minutes just to get in here. Um, now we found another structure-like thing over here, and I'll show you that real fast. <clears throat> and it may very well be natural as well. But since we found three of them together, you can hear the motorcycles running on the highway out here. But from the highway, if, even if you were to park right out there, uh, you'd still have to go through about four feet deep of blackberries and Oregon grape and wild roses and trailing blackberries just to get in. So it's, it's not easy. We had to kind of pick an alternate path just to get back in here. But uh, this is the other one that we found. And I think after looking at it, I think it's, I think it's natural. So, not too concerned with that one. The other one, though, that's over here, the one that I spotted, I don't think is natural. Guys, I think something built it, and I don't think that something was human. None of the branches, oh my gosh, it's not easy. None of the branches have been cut. They've all been broken and snapped and placed. And oh boy, I'm walking through all kinds of spider webs and stuff I don't want to know about. So, all right. Let me go. thorn bushes tearing at my clothes. Alright. I'm here with Carrie. She's making a video. But, uh, yeah. There's this. You can kind of see some of these thorns. This is blackberry here. <clears throat> Fortunately, ouch, my legs are pretty long, so for me, it's easiest just to moose walk right over the top of them. Although I have thorns in my leg right now. So, yeah. Um, Is it, uh, is it natural? I tend to think not. Not this one. Let's go in and have a look here as soon as... Go ahead. All right. I didn't want to get in your way. Nope, then I can get a scale shot.
So this looks like they were whatever, whoever, whatever made this was trying to hide maybe from the highway. Um, but also inside here looks like a lot of the stuff has been cleared out and moved over to the side here, right in here. And again, this is, I don't even think five miles as the crow flies from where we had our sighting. But, you know, I'm, I'm 6'1", I can stand in here no problem. It's actually a fairly nice little shelter. laying on the ground no one would ever see you. Nope. Ever. And you can see the size of these. This and this. Um, yeah there's a scale. And you can see this right down here. This looks like it was snapped right off of here, or, you nope, know, this one, yeah, I think it was this one. Because these are just woven, I mean, look at these, this is over and under and over and under. It's crazy stuff. Beautiful. Anyway, <clears throat> Good eyes. thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, get a video up. We've been going out almost every single weekend. Haven't had a whole lot of success with with anything. We've done a couple of follow up um, investigations on uh, some sightings and some audio stuff that uh, that we've heard. But I, I didn't make any videos about it. It really wasn't very exciting. But I think this is kind of an interesting find. Anyway, it's Mark from Sasquatch Habitat Investigation Team and Carrie from Lane County Bigger, Bigfooters signing off.